Hi there. Today we're going to look at how to create a hotspot question using iSpring Suite. This is a super cool type of question that lets students select an area of an image as their answer. The first thing we need to do is open up iSpring Suite and start a new quiz. From here, go ahead and click on Question up top and then choose Hotspot. Great, now we're ready to get going. Right here, we can add our question. Can you guess the theme of my quiz? Okay, now you can add your image either from a file or you can copy and paste from your clipboard. I'm going to upload it from a file. I'm sure these guys look pretty familiar. Now I have to add a hotspot shape. It's super easy to add a rectangle. All I have to do is choose it and then draw over the correct answer, which we all know is Luke. But if we want this shape to be a little more precise and Luke shaped, we should use the draw a shape option instead. With this option, you can draw whatever shape you like. Awesome. You can draw on as many hotspot areas as you like, but we only need one for this quiz. You can find more options on the menu over here. You can adjust the question type, when your student will receive feedback, how scoring works, as well as the number of attempts your student will get to answer correctly. You can also choose to add a time limit to each question as well as whether or not you will accept partially correct answers. Even further down, you have marker options. Here you can choose to limit your student's number of responses, which will restrict the number of areas your students can add markers to, as well as enable clearing markers, which will allow your students to clear their answer and try again before submitting. And here, if you allow your student additional attempts, you can choose whether their first answers will be cleared or not. Down here you can set up feedback. Feedback is the response your students will get depending on if they answer correctly or not. You can change your feedback message for correct or incorrect answers. Let's Yoda these messages up a bit. You can set up branching here. It's easy to send your students back to the beginning of the group if they get the answer wrong. And of course, you can adjust your scoring for both correct and incorrect answers as well. Okay, let's make sure our quiz looks amazing. Head on over to Slide View. I can adjust the picture if I want to, and I think Han, Luke, and Leia would pop more if the background were black. So I'm going to jump on over to the Design tab and choose Format Background. Now I can choose my color. Man, that looks really good. Lastly, I'll format my question to make it pop a little more. Okay, now that we have our Hotspot quiz all set up, let's make sure it's working properly by taking a look at the preview. Looks good. Let's quickly see how it would look on a cell phone. That's great too. Okay, now we should make sure it works how it's supposed to. The force is strong with me today. Now we're ready to publish. You have the option here to export directly to your computer, to iSpring Cloud, which is an online service for secure hosting and sharing your quizzes, or iSpring Learn, a learning management system, or to another LMS using one of the supported LMS profiles, like SCORM, or you can save it as a Word document. Today, I'm going to publish directly to my computer. And there you have it, one Jedi-friendly hotspot quiz to test your young Padawans.